the emergency stop, the e-brake, the foot stop, the TED shred. There's a lot of different names for it. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to do it. Jackson here. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a TED shred, and that's what I'm going to call it from here on out on a fixed gear. It's also a useful skill to know on a BMX. If you're on a bike with a coaster brake, like a clunker bike, getting rowdy, you want another way to stop in case your chain breaks. TED shred could be a good option. The TED shred is a relatively simple skill to learn. It's pretty easy but there are a couple things that you're definitely gonna wanna keep in mind. Stick around to the end of the video. I've got one tip that I think is really important for mastering this skill. Before we go any further, I just wanna point out that riding a fixed gear or a bike in general can be dangerous. Please ride within your abilities and follow your local laws and that sort of thing. Also, wear a helmet. Just make sure you wear it better than me. So the TED Shred, it's one of the few different ways that you can slow down or stop on a fixed gear. I've got a whole video that covers all the different ways to stop. Link in the description. I also have a tutorial about how to skid. And there are a few reasons that I really like to do the TED Shred. For one, it's easier to do, maybe easier than a skid in some situations. Sometimes in gradual descents, I like to take my feet off the pedals. And this can be one of the ways to modulate speed without having to put your feet back on the pedals or exert all the energy to do a skid. Plus, it looks and feels cool. It's a nice way to add some style points and mix it up. So the reason this is called the emergency stop is that you can still do it if your drivetrain fails. And if you're on a fixed gear without brakes, you're relying on your drivetrain. If your chain falls off or your chain breaks, you don't have another way to stop. So this can come in handy, although I do recommend riding with a brake, especially if you're a beginner. It definitely can happen. I've dropped the chain back in the day when I was riding a conversion and the chain alignment was all off. I would drop a chain pretty frequently. So. I'm glad that I knew how to do this skill and it's definitely one that's worth learning. Same thing applies if you're on a bike with a coaster brake, you need a way to stop. A lot of people also ride BMX brakeless, so it's a good skill to have. There are a few cons though with the TED Shred and they're pretty big. The biggest con with doing a TED Shred is that it's gonna ruin your shoes. No matter what you do, contact with your tire, it's gonna mess up your shoes. And it's amazing how quickly this actually happens and it gets exponentially worse if you have wider tires and especially if you have knobby tires. I also have never tried this with clip-in shoes, nor would I recommend it because clipless shoes can be pretty expensive and soles are usually made out of a hard plastic that probably wouldn't last too long with the TED Shred. If you have ever been behind someone who is doing a TED Shred, you will know that the smell is just horrendous. Rubber on rubber burning, it's just awful. And once you've smelled it, you will never forget that smell. So be mindful of who's riding behind you. The other con is that you're taking your feet off the pedals and out of the straps. In particular, if you're going downhill fast and your pedals are spinning around quickly, if you can't get back in the pedals, you won't be able to control the bike. And this could get really sketchy really quickly. Now that we have all that out of the way, let's actually talk about how to do the TED Shred. Before we go any further, I gotta give a huge shout out to none other than the legendary Mash SF. I'm really excited about this new build. It's been incredible to ride. I just barely set it up. so. Lots more details to come, stay tuned. Basically, you're gonna take your foot off the pedal, put it on the back tire, push down, and that's it. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> Honestly, there isn't a ton to this skill. A couple things though that I do want to point out. When you put your back foot on the tire, you can either create just friction on which the tire will slow down, or you can put a little bit more pressure and cause the tire to skid. One way to limit the wear on your shoes is by engaging a skid immediately, Obviously, if you just let the tire continue to rotate, it's gonna take off more of your shoes. The con is then you're wearing through your tire, but I don't know, shoes, tires, up to you. So it doesn't really matter which part of your foot you put on the tire. I usually just do my heel. What does matter though, is that you get your foot as close to your seat stays as possible. Otherwise your foot's gonna be moving around, bouncing around, and you're not gonna be able to do a skid as easily. I banged my ankle a couple times because I wasn't putting my foot as close to the bridge as possible. Once your foot is in the position, stand up out of the saddle and your tire will do a skid. You can start to play around with leaning the bike and doing more of a whip skid, which can be pretty fun. You can do some weird foot combos with it, add some flair, some style to it and make it your own. Another thing to focus on is which foot you're taking out of the straps to actually do the TED Shred. I personally do the TED Shred with my front foot, which means on a fixed gear that I'm taking the foot that relies on a strap to do a skid out of the straps. And if I can't get my foot back in the straps, 
I'm either not going to be able to skid or I'm going to have to do a switch skid, which in certain scenarios can be a little bit sketchy. So if you want to build up your skills, maybe you could practice doing a switch Ted shred. I had never actually tried one until I started filming this video and it was surprisingly more difficult than what I would have expected. And it reminded me of how weird it is just to figure out where your tire is and learn the body position. So it can definitely take some practice and some muscle memory. Keep working on it. It definitely gets easier over time. So my biggest tip you'll notice I'm not very good at at all is just keeping your head up and looking forward. If you're looking down at your bike, you're not paying as much attention to what's in front of you. And if you're out riding in the streets, that's pretty important to know what's in front of you. So as much as you can, try to keep your head up and just get the muscle memory down where you could do this trick without even having to look down. I've been talking about it for a while, but I finally got some new gear on FoagGang.com. Been in the works for a minute and I'm really excited about it. Go check it out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let me know if there are any other skills that you want me to do a tutorial on. Thanks for watching. Oh,